guys, welcome to episode 22 of Liberty Loft Lessons, where today I'll be teaching you guys a song from the intro, and that's Cheeky Kids by Marlins Dreaming. This is another requested song. Big shout out to Lachlan Uccello for requesting this. Just like I do for any request, as soon as Lachlan recommended this song, I went straight to Spotify and YouTube to check it out, and I just fell in love with it immediately. I listened to this song, I listened to a couple other Marlins Dreaming songs. Within a few days, I was listening to Marlins Dreaming all the time. I really love this band. I was pretty surprised to find out that Marlins Dreaming has a pretty similar sound to Mac DeMarco, so if you're a Mac DeMarco fan like I am, I think you'll really enjoy this band. A lot of that comes down to the tones, which I'll cover at the very end of the video, so so definitely stick around for that. So I'm gonna break the song into four sections. We're gonna have the main chord progression as the first part. That's gonna be the basis for the intro slash bridge and also the solo. So we're gonna go ahead and get that one out of the way first. Then we're gonna move on to the intro melody and the bridge. So it's actually played twice. So then we'll move on to the breakdown, which is just a really cool vibe. And then we'll move on to the solo last. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna make the solo or not, but this one is just too catchy. It's too much fun to play. So I'm gonna break down the solo for you guys. Again, in this lesson, I'll be showing you guys every single note. All I ask from you guys is to please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I have a lot of great videos coming up. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lesson. All right, so let's start with the chords, right? The main chord progression for the entire song is gonna be A minor seven to C major to D major. So when we play the A minor seven, you don't wanna play it like this. You don't wanna play it like this and strum. Really what we want is these three strings right here, the D, G, and B strings to ring out. We really don't want to hear that E or the A. So, so what we do is we'll pluck the root note and we'll go like that. And then we can go to the C, pluck the root note same strings. We'll, we'll be on the C for a little bit. And then we'll slide up to the D, so. Back to the A minor seven. So all together. So like I said, that's the main rhythm. Now on the chorus, you know, he'll start actually on the C and we'll just not play the A minor seven to start it. For example, he'll go cheeky kids in Japanese. Georgia's. Right, so you just, they just don't play that A minor seven to start the chorus. It just comes in right at the C. Cool. All right, so let's talk about the intro, right? This is also gonna be played for the bridge. It's a very simple melody, but we're gonna start with a ring finger right here on the ninth fret of the D string. Go down to seven. Then we'll go up to 10 on the A string with our pinky. So. All right, and then we'll go seven A, 10 A, seven 
D. So all together. Right? And then we'll play this little melody right here, and it goes. So nine nine seven nine seven. So So we'll play that twice, both for the intro and the bridge. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the little breakdown. All right, so let's talk about that breakdown, right? And this is gonna be played twice, one for two bars, and then the second time around, we'll play it for four bars. But both times, it's gonna start on the fifth fret of the E string right here on this A note, and we'll hit that a couple times. Or three times, actually, then we'll go back to the third fret, back up to the fifth, back down to the third, then we'll hit the third fret of the A string, Put it a couple more times. Back to the fifth fret of the E. Back to the third fret of the A. And then we'll go, come up here and we'll play 7A and 5D like this. So all together, that part. I think it's a lot easier if you, since you're right here, just to slide into that seven from the five. So, kind of like that. So, the second time around, we're gonna play it a little bit differently. We'll start the same. But this time we'll go Right? So we'll start with a 5E, down to the 3A, and then we'll go like that. So it'll be on the A string, 3-5, three, 3-5, five, three, five, slide up to 7, and we'll go 5-7-5, five, five, so all together. Cool. The first time around, we're done right there. We can go back to the... But the second time around, we're gonna go up an octave. We're gonna play the same thing, just an octave higher. So now I'm on the seventh fret, and we'll just hit that a couple times. Same thing we did up there. So this time we're gonna slide up to the ninth fret and we'll hit reach back and hit the eight with our middle finger like that so second time around it's just like the second time around up top so right just like that and i'll have the tabs of course so you can see what to do there but it's the same concept sliding into it or you know um, so we're just doing it up here, so like that. Cool, so that's the breakdown.
basically, I'm just going to play it really slowly for you guys because there's so many notes. I promise you it's a lot easier than it looks. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll just give you some pointers at some spots in the solo to help you guys out and learn it faster. But uh, we're going to start the solo with this 7th fret bend right here on the G string. We'll bend it up a whole step. All right, so once we get down here to the 15th fret, we're gonna do some basic pull-offs. And we'll go. So we'll bend it up a whole step right there, and then we'll hit it a couple times while we're bending it. Release. Like that. So one more time, that last part. And that's your solo. Yes guys, so I just finished editing the video and I just realized that I forgot to talk about the tone like I told you I was gonna do in the intro. Really quickly, I'll go over the pedals I was using. By the way, if you're still watching at this point in the video, thank you so, so much. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate the support. So on my Strat here, I'm using my neck pickups and I'm on about a seven for the tone. So the first pedal I'm gonna use is a tremolo pedal with a high rate and a mid to low depth. And that sounds like this. It's like a chorus, but it's just a wet signal. In the words of Mac DeMarco, it's kind of like a wiggly worm. It's one of Mac's favorite pedals to use. The next one we're gonna add, we're gonna cut some of the bass out and we're gonna bring up some of the mids and the treble or the highs and the mids. So when we do that, it sounds like this. And another way you can achieve that, if you don't have an EQ pedal, is you can use the wah pedal and put it in the toe position and just leave it like that. And that's actually what I ended up doing for the recording of this video. Then the last pedal, of course, you gotta add some reverb. So I like to add spring reverb to this one. And when we do that, it sounds like this. All right, so that completes that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If this was your first time here in Marlin's Dreaming, let me know down in the comments. Again, I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching to this point in the video. I wanna thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. Once again, it's Charlie here, Liberty Loft Lessons. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. All right, so once we get down here to the 15th fret, we're gonna do some basic hammer -ons. Dang it. I can't play this part slow. All right, hang on, here we go.